going out to the woods. I love their noses, you guys, because it feels like a little peach. <laughs> Tell them that my dad's out there and I need a wheelchair. Really, really freaking love YouTube because it's like keeping my mind off of like going crazy. I hate this, you guys. Bug back here, and then I got Squisher back here. Tell them where we're going, Squish. See the horses at Papa's. Yeah. <laughs> so I have held off for several weeks, but today, you guys, we're going out to the woods because I just cannot take it any longer. And my dad and my sister have pretty much just been quarantined at their house. They haven't been around like a lot of people at all. Um, so I feel I feel pretty safe going to spend the day with them. But we're gonna do some horseback riding today and just get out to his cabin in the woods. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that literally his cabin is out in the middle of nowhere. Like you have to have a four wheel drive vehicle to even get to it. There is nothing and no one out there. So that is where we are going during this quarantine because I just got to get these kids outside and just breathe some fresh air. So my dad, if you guys have watched me, you also know that I have recently, we recently lost my stepmom, my dad's wife, um, and they were married for like together for like 30 years. So it's been really hard on him. We lost her at the very beginning of February. Um, so it hasn't been that long. And then all of this quarantine stuff came down and he hasn't had, I mean, any interaction really besides my sister who lives with him and is helping take over and run the business. Um, other than that, like he hasn't seen my sister Alyssa, he hasn't really seen me, he hasn't seen my kids, and he's just feeling really, really down and lonely. And I'm like, that's it. We're going out to Lost Creek. It's gonna be okay. So, that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do some horseback riding and just uh, hang out at his cabin and hang out in the woods and enjoy life. They're walking over here. They want to see you. They know they're going bye-bye today. We're going to load them up, aren't we? We're going to load up the horses and take them to Lost Creek. Huh? Here, girl. Say hi, guys. We're gonna take Tango, and then we're gonna, oh, I don't think we're taking little baby. We're not gonna take the baby, though. Hi. Look at that baby girl. Hi. I love their noses. I don't have any treats. I know. I love their noses, you guys, because it feels like a little peach. <laughs> like a peach bud. So cute. Yeah, you guys ready to go? So right now we are at my dad's house, actually, and he lives probably about 15 minutes from where we live. Um, and this is like where the horses stay and stuff like that, as the horns are. But we're gonna get ready to load them up here in the horse trailer and take them out to Lost Creek for the day and go on some rides. So it'll be fun. I'm excited to bring you guys along with us. This, this guy right here is Rusty. He's a sweet boy. He's a sweet, sweet boy, that Rusty. You ready to go riding? You ready to go riding? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Edie keeps calling them dogs. She's like, dog. 
dog. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess they are. They are. Horses are like big dogs, you guys. Yeah. They are. They're sweet and loving, and they are. They just remind you of big dogs. <laughs> Come get on the road, sissy girl. There you go. Come on. Dog. Dog. <laughs> Edie, they're horsies. Come on. Hi. Oh, hello. There's Ladybug. There's Ladybug. Hello, lady. Hi. So, lady, um, I've always, she's this, like, light, we'll call her a cream. She's like, oh, sorry, my camera's like, like a cream-colored horse. So, I've always wanted to get a unicorn to put it on her. So, I think probably for one of her birthdays, one of Edie's birthdays, I'm going to get on Etsy because they have, like, these Etsy shops that make like horns that go on your, your horse's bridle. So I think I'm gonna order a horn for her and do like a mystical, magical unicorn birthday for Edie. I think that'd be so fun. You're right there with them. Edie, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. <laughs> There's a lot of hay. You can go climb on it. You can go climb on the hay. Yeah, mommy used to climb on this all the time when I was your age. I used to make forts. <laughs> oh, as a kid, we used to, yeah, we used to go way up there. We sure did. You getting close to her? Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss right on her forehead. Her does like petting. Sissy girl gave her a kiss on her nose. Edie girl, go pet the. You want to pet the horsey? There she got his. He is. He's a very pretty horse. Hey, this is Shinsky Maginsky. Say hi. He now it's so funny, Dad, because he was the one that was like super shy, right? When you guys got him. Well, no, he was wild. He's the one who was who Eric had out there. Remember? Yeah, but yeah, yeah but he like wouldn't come to people. No. Now we were down here, and he's like fighting for attention. He's like. Sophie in the form of a horse. <laughs> it's cute. We're gonna ride today, aren't we? We are gonna have fun, fun, fun. We got the horses loaded up and we're finally heading down. It took about an hour um, to get Shine loaded up because this was his second time um, ever go, well, technically his third time ever being in a horse trailer. When they actually picked Shine up like a year ago, um, they had to tranquilize the poor thing to get him into the trailer. So this was his second time, it took about an hour. We used apple treats. I fed him real apples 
my dad and Maggie were like heave ho in and he finally went in and so now we're gonna go down to Lost Creek and we're hoping that he saddles okay um, but this might have like aggravated him enough to where we won't even be able to get a saddle on him today but that's fine we got two other horses so we can just take turns <laughs> little pony <laughs> you're asking for the world here. right my ponies are mean are the kitties wouldn't that be good in case of you guys didn't know ponies are the devil's spawn <laughs> maggie like maggie you couldn't have sounded more missouri than that ponies are the devil's spawn <laughs> so out of all the times i've been bucked off every single one has been a pony except no. for once lady yeah, that, except for one. Yeah, but she's a mare, you know, so. Mares and ponies. Mares and I ponies. Yesterday, them. good song. Do you ever miss playing your shows? Yeah, I miss it. I miss performing, and I missed all the guys in the band. I miss dressing up. I miss the body that I had when I was playing. <laughs> Shape again. No, I'm not. I got a, about 20 pounds still to go. What's her name? Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. This is when Kobe was. Yeah. This was like off of their first or second album. Yeah, I believe this was the first Pearl Jam. This Don't quote me on that though. Oh, yeah. It's. It was made back in the early 90s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's every bit of 30 years old. Sure. Green grass is giving them more friggin' energy than anything. Oh. Hey, I'm moving. Oh, yep, we're moving. We need to go up some hills. Huh. That'll take a hit gold juice out of them. <laughs> Edie! Hi, Edie! Squish, are you ready to go ride? Yeah. Who are you riding right now? Uh, it's a tango. Tango. Tango horse. He's a sweet boy, ain't he? Yeah. Pappy, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? You ready, Squish? Yeah. Let's go. That is made squish. Mm. Why did? Oh. literally went down about an hour ago um 
No sooner I put the camera away and we continue to ride and my dad is riding this horse who is pretty green. This horse bucked my dad off. I mean, this horse was not giving up. This horse was bucking and twisting and turning and I mean, my dad held on as long as he possibly could at the ripe old age of 60, um, which he held on a good, a good amount. So he was thrown from the horse and he's like, I think I have ribs broken. I think I have a collarbone that's broken. I got him in my car and rushed him to the hospital, the nearest hospital. I say about 30 minutes, maybe. It took us about 30 minutes. Um, and they wouldn't let me go in with him because of the coronavirus stuff. So I literally had to like run in through this like corridor that they make shift thing out of plywood and tell them that my dad's out there and I need a wheelchair. And they, they were like, okay, we'll call you in an hour after we do x-rays. Like, I'm sorry, but nobody can be in there. I mean, it's just, I get it. Like, I, I get that nobody can be there, but it really sucks because we just lost my stepmom like two months ago. And now we just got a call from the doctor and they said that yeah. there was blood in his urine. So now it's considered yeah. trauma and they have to transport him to the same hospital that they transported my stepmom to with her heart attack. And I mean, it's just like, I'm kind of freaking out right now. Like, and there's nothing I can do. Like we cannot, I know kiddos, we, we can't go in and like see him. We can't be there. Um, so my sister Alyssa is driving here. She's gonna meet me here. And then my sister Maggie is still in the parking lot of that hospital because she's like crying. She's like, I just, I can't bring myself to leave. And I'm like, well, us sitting in a vacant parking lot, like we might as well be here because they're going to end up transferring him to this hospital here on the lake. So I, it was a beautiful freaking day, you guys. Beautiful. Okay, you guys, so I'm just sitting here actually catching up on some YouTube videos right now um, of all of yours because I'm behind. And I just got a call from my sister. They transferred my dad to another hospital, which we cannot be at. Like, we can't even go. Like, so that sucks. Like, normal me, normal time, I would not be here watching YouTube videos. I would be at the freaking hospital with my dad. Um, but we're not allowed in there, which is just so heartbreaking and so hard. And I know there's a lot of people going through this right now. I have seen a lot of Facebook posts of people that are having babies right now and it can only be like the husband and wife in there or the partners in there and oh, that's so heartbreaking or if somebody is like in critical condition and nobody can be with them. So um, definitely has a broken collarbone. There was blood in his urine but they're thinking it was only like bruised kidneys so that's good. They're doing a full cat scan, MRI, all of that on him to make sure that like nothing with his head was hit and there's no crazy internal bleeding that like would need surgery. Um, so we're just waiting to see basically if they're going to keep him for 48 hours or if they're going to release him. So that's where I'm at right now and it's currently 10.13 p.m. and this happened at about 4.30. 30 in the afternoon so it's been a long few hours so to keep my mind positive and off of negative thoughts and scary thoughts I am watching videos from you guys so <laughs> this is a time where I'm like oh my god YouTube is I mean I love YouTube I love doing YouTube but now I'm just like I really really freaking love YouTube because it's like keeping my mind off of like going crazy basically so 
I will keep you guys updated. You kind of called that yourself. <laughs> and a broken collarbone. I called it all. You did. You definitely said collarbone for sure. God. And you know, honestly, that makes sense because of how I'm happy that he didn't like fling you. Hello? I landed hard. Yeah, you did. But I'm happy that you weren't like up in the air. Like you held on every time he bucked. It was like when he started spinning around, then you finally, you like almost like, head first tumbled on that left side.